Hey everyone, Scott here from Simple Mechanic Advice. Today we're going to talk about how to fix the AWD system malfunction with 2WD mode engaged. Here are the common causes of AWD system malfunction. 1. Battery issues. A functional battery contributes to the seamless functionality of your car's systems. However, a worn out or dead battery will lead to an all-wheel drive system malfunction. A weak battery, due to extremely low voltage, will also lead to an AWD system malfunction. You can reset this by disconnecting and reconnecting the battery after a few minutes or replacing a dead battery. 2. Malfunctioning Speed Sensor Speed sensors are fitted in cars to determine the rotational speed of each wheel while driving. The sensors relay accurate information to the AWD system to facilitate and determine the car's safety. However, a malfunctioning speed sensor will send inaccurate information, leading to system malfunctions that may cause the vehicle's central system to be shut down. Diagnosis of AWD System Malfunction To diagnose this malfunction, you need to park your car. Begin by watching out for a check engine light warning. Next, run a full system scan using a diagnostic scanner, such as an OBD2. The scanner will indicate where the problem might be. Additionally, you can have your car inspected by a professional mechanic to ascertain the right trigger and have it repaired. Here is how to fix this issue. Here are a few steps you can follow to fix the issue. Assess and replace the battery. To do this, put the car in park and shut off the engine. Open the bonnet and locate the battery. Use a multimeter set at 15 to 20 volts to measure for weak voltage. If the voltage is 12.6V and above, it indicates a good battery. However, any reading below 12V indicates a problem. If the voltage is lower than 12V, disconnect the negative cables and then the positive cables. Unscrew the clamps off to remove the battery. Use an automobile safe lubricant or battery cleaning solution to remove corrosion from the connectors and battery tray. Install the new battery and attach the positive cables and then the negative cables. Tighten the terminals, connectors, and cables. Replace the speed sensor. Safely lift the vehicle using a jack. Place jack stands in place when you are lowering the car frame. Disassemble the negative battery cables. Locate the speed sensor using your car's manual. Remove the connectors and unscrew them to disengage the faulty sensor. Assess the connector for any damages. If you find any, consider a replacement. If you notice exposed wires, use an electrical tape to seal them off. Check if the new speed sensor has an O-ring and install it in place. Reconnect and tighten the electrical connectors, followed by the negative battery cable. Remove the jacks, lower your vehicle, and test your car. If these issues persist after trying these steps, seek the help of a mechanic. Thanks for watching.